And one of the things that you brought up is how central the doctrine of discovery is to our current predicament. And I was wondering if you could elaborate a little bit more uh, on what you mean by that. How is how is the doctrine of discovery a social health determinant for American Indian people? You know, I, I think the doctrine of discovery uh, is closely tied to white supremacy, you know, and Christian supremacy in, in the United States. In, and um, uh, unfortunately, the the impacts uh, in, in the United States have followed uh, the Christian domination, regardless of uh, their their uh, religious affiliation. Uh, I think the the thing that ties together is Christendom, the 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 the, the Protestants and 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 Catholics and all of the dominant nations of Christianity are tied together, you know, and in 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 the papal bulls itself and uh, have set forth uh, primarily uh, uh, under. Uh, uh, the Marshall trilogy, but but uh, the 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 case that um, uh, uh, Macintosh is is uh, is something that we need to be familiar with. You know, it was it was a propped up case. It was it was not legal, and uh, still uh, they needed a justification to take the West, and they did. They took the West. They took all of the Indian land, uh, and you know, primarily because of Christian domination. Christian believed they have the authority to uh, to take uh, heathen land. You know the Pope doesn't have that authority. He can't put a stick in the ground at some place and call this um, for a Christian nation. And and uh, the Pope just simply doesn't have that authority. You know and how that is perpetrated on Indigenous peoples, uh, it continues today. You know, um, otherwise we would have uh, land back in in large groves. We don't have any land back. Small amounts of land back. Small amounts of of, of policy now for land back, but we're talking huge amounts of land. We're talking about a jurisdiction that um, would encompass huge areas of of lands and um, you know an understanding of uh, of. Of sovereignty, I guess, you know, and and what involves what is involved in sovereignty is an understanding of our relationship with land uh, that white people don't have, white supremacy doesn't have, Christian domination doesn't have, and indigenous peoples do have that relationship with sovereignty. Through that sovereignty relationship with land, we we can change people's thinking and how they live on land. Um, they don't want that, you know. It continues on. You know, we we debuted a, a movie on 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 uh, last week, week before last in in New York, and and it it involved um, climate change. You know, and the the impacts of climate change is on us. The ice is melting. You know, species are migrating northward, and um, you know until people understand that. Um, Things are changing, are not going to be the same by force or by choice. By force, they will be forced to make changes. Things will happen. Social systems will collapse. Environmental systems will collapse. Or by, by choice, they will come to some intellectual and some, some uh, realization that things are happening now at an at a accelerated rate and they have to make a change. Um, and I'm, I'm still banking on on choice, but realization is setting in that it's going to take by force. People are going to be forced to make changes uh, to save what we know, uh, remnants of what we know as as uh, as survival on Earth. Uh, cars won't make it. You know, batteries life is not going to make it. Uh, recycling is not going to make it. Any changes that people are making now is not enough. 